Hey guys, it's Ben here. Welcome to episode 9 of The Fix. Today we're going to look at one called Stargazing in New Zealand. Um, so as you can see, it's a bit of an astrophotography shot. So the first one um, of this kind of night photography scene that I've, I'm doing here on The Fix. So I'll show you what I do when I process um, a picture like this because it is quite a bit different. So um, pretty cool and we'll take a look. Um, this one was taken on the North Island of New Zealand, and we had just stopped for the night at this campground, which is, um, that's me standing there, and just in front of where I'm standing on the other side of this hill um, was where we were staying, and it's, it was just a little field, um, and then I hopped over the hill, and, um, and, you know, there's just this huge streak of the Milky Way in the sky, and there was and the waves rolling behind me, and I had this idea to kind of... Um, take a shot down the beach out over the ocean um, to see how that would look and I tried it and it didn't really didn't really work that well but when I turned around and looked back up the hill um, that ended up being a better shot so I set my camera up um, set the photo up and ran up really quick to the top of the hill and stood there and got a pretty cool silhouette so I was, I was actually really happy with it and it's just one of those one of those things that um, you know you have an idea in your mind you try something different um, and it ends up working a little bit better than you thought anyway. So so that's what it was in this case. Um, and so, yeah, so we'll take a really quick look at how I, how I process one like this. Um, so that's the photo there. Um, that's me. That's the beach. And that's the Milky Way. Um, and you can actually see a shooting star up, up here that um, dropped across the sky a little bit. So that's pretty cool. Um, so let's, uh, let's hit the reset button. Take this one back to scratch. And you can see... First thing that we'll talk about with night photography or astrophotography, um, whatever you want to call it, is the settings that you use. So I was at 11 millimeters, so a really wide lens, um, and then I opened that up to 4.5, so the maximum aperture that it has. Um, and so you crank your crank that as wide as it'll go, or the lower the f-stop number, whatever, whatever way you want to think about it. Um, so you're letting as much light in as possible, and then I. Um, let the shutter run for 30 seconds. Um, I definitely wouldn't ever want to go longer than that. Um, but there is kind of a rule where you where you go 500 divided by the focal length of your lens, and that gives you kind of the maximum shutter speed that you should use before you'll start to get the stars trailing. Because you think the Earth is spinning around, um, and because of that, the stars appear to kind of move through the sky. And so if you if you go too long, then you'll get these little streaks of light on each of them. So you won't get, you know, if I zoom in, you can see that they're kind of a perfect pin shape, you know, like a, a little pinhole. Um, so if you go any more than, um, than the shutter speed using the 500 rule, you'll get little streaks instead of the little pinholes. Um, so I went 30 seconds, which is quite long, um, but they ended up being quite sharp because I was so wide. And then I went up to ISO 1250, so it's a very noisy photo, um, but that's all right because it's it's taken at night, and all the little dots from the noise are going to kind of blend themselves into the stars, so so not a huge deal. But it's what you kind of have to do to make these astrophotography shots work. So um, what we're going to do here um, is kind of go through what I typically would do on a shot like this. The first thing is that. Um, right now, you can see everything's heaped way down here to the left on the histogram. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring the exposure up just a little bit, not too much right now. We can come around and play with that later. Um, the other thing is I always like these shots to be quite blue, so I kind of you know slide it down a little bit. They always tend to come out uh, with auto white balance or or you know whatever white balance you're using. They tend to always come out quite warm. So that's the first thing I do is uh, drag it down a little bit and it gives you that kind of cold blue look and it makes the sky look nice and blue, um, which I think is pretty cool. Um, usually I take the highlights and I turn them down, but in most of these shots, um, the night shots, I actually turn them off. So I go the opposite. So that's kind of one of the first things that's a little bit different. And then the shadows, I'm also gonna lift the shadows a little bit so you can see that foreground. Um, and then the whites and the blacks, I do kind of the similar similar thing that I usually would. I bring the whites up, and you can see that's going to give the sky a little bit of a glow here, which is really cool. And then drag the blacks down. 
um, not too much. I don't want to make it too dark, but you still want those inky blacks, um, like my jacket and that sort of thing. So we'll start with that for now. Might bring this up just a little bit as well. And then contrast. Yeah, something like that. Happy with that. Um, we'll skip the tone curve for now. I'm also going to do a really quick crop on this, just to bring this in a bit. Cool. Um, so that is, if I hit Y, you can see that's a big step. So you can see how warm and dark this one was before. And just with those adjustments, um, we're already here. So that is probably the biggest thing that I find with these shots. Um, those things that I've told you already, uh, bringing the highlights up and adjusting the temperature are probably the biggest things um, out of everything that I do. And then it will put clarity a little bit too. Um, in this one, I almost kind of like bring that clarity down a little bit. So I'm going to bring it down, but I like the way that it made this look as well as these footsteps in the sand. So I'm just going to go here, reset this by double clicking effect, pump that clarity up a bit, uh, brush looks good, and then I'll just brush a little bit in here, and just a little bit up here too. So you kind of get the clarity where you want it, but then you get the overall effect of reducing the clarity. Cool, so something like that. just a never-ending process of kind of tweaking a little bit here and there. So right there I dropped the contrast down a bit and then kind of recovered from that by dropping the blacks down. So I think something like that looks pretty cool. How are we looking? Good. And then vibrance. Um, there's not too much for color other than that blue which we've already kind of taken care of. So a little bit of vibrance, um, but not too much. I'm going to skip the tone curve, skip the HSL panel. Um, if you want a little bit more information on how I use the HSL panel, a good example is um, episode 8, actually. So go check that out and see how we use it to change the color of trees. Um, split toning I'm going to leave. And then detail, this one is quite important on these star shots. So let's, um, this is a good section to zoom into. As you can see, as soon as it zoom into 100%, um, tons of noise, lots of color noise. You can see all different sorts of colors. Um, so uh, we do want to sharpen a little bit, not too much. Um, radius, I think we're going to go quite large on that. So bring that up a bit, and then lots of detail. I'm just going to go back to radius and kind of see. Yeah, something like that. And then we're going to do a lot of masking because we don't want to sharpen that much. We just want to sharpen those, sharpen the little pinpoints. Cool. Let's try that. See where that gets us. And then we're going to bring in a whole bunch of noise reduction. Not too much because you'll start kind of erasing the stars themselves if you bring in too much noise because they really do. If you look at all those little dots, they kind of do look like noise. Um, but we'll we'll bring a little bit just to try to smooth the sky out a little bit more and clean things up. And then color noise is also going to be quite important important here. So let's see if I drag that up to you know 43 or something. Hopefully that's going to clean up um, some of those kind of color malfunctions a little bit. Maybe something like that. Um, so I do think I've actually went a little bit over on the noise reduction. So I'm just going to slide that down a bit. And you can you could actually see, um, I'm not sure if you're able to see it on your screen, but some of those little dots actually pop back out. So I think that's looking pretty good. <coughs> so we've still got all the main dots, all the main stars, and then there's some fine details behind. Cool, so I'm actually quite happy with that one. Uh, we'll go CA, even though there's not going to be any, but we'll we'll do that anyways. And then we'll do just a little bit of vignetting. 
darken the corners and kind of make this pop a little bit. And while we're at it, I don't know if I did this on the on the original photo, but I'm just going to take a brush and see if I can make this pop a little bit more. Um, so I'm going to reset everything. So I just double click effect, resets all those sliders. And then we'll just take and brush in a little bit here, kind of roughly get that Milky Way covered. And a little bit more, whatever. Press O, just double check where I am. So O stands for overlay. And when I hit that, it should show me what I've painted so far. So something like that. Um, it seems to be struggling a little bit. I'm not sure why. So we'll just, we'll just hop back out of that. And so I hit O again and it gets rid of that. Hopefully at some point it should. Um, and maybe I'll do it down here. There we go. So this is the same thing as hitting O. So either one. Um, and let's just play around and see what I can do to make that pop just a little bit. So a little bit of that. Not sure what contrast is going to do with it. Just a little bit lower on the contrast. Maybe some highlights, just a bit. Shadows, hmm. Something like that. Clarity might be nice in there. Yeah, a bit of clarity to make that pop just a bit more. And saturation, let's see. So one little trick, so I'm going to reset saturation because I didn't like what that was doing. One little trick, the whole sky is blue, but the Milky Way usually is quite colorful. So what you can actually do is just bring that warmth up just a tiny little bit, just in that section. It kind of sets a little bit apart and brings out the different colors that you can actually see in um, the galactic core, as it's known. Um, so let's see, on and off with that one, what that does. So it does make it pop a little bit more. I think that's kind of cool. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to leave that. I'm just going to do a little bit down here. A little bit more just kind of on these edges. Cool. So not much at all. And we'll press Y. And I do actually think that that's a little bit overdone. So I'm going to take uh, my negative brush, like this one here called the Erase. I'm just going to very slowly with big wide strokes. Um, so all I'm doing is holding the option key or you can click erase. I'm going to do it that way, but I'm just going to go and just take a little bit off of the whole thing. We'll do one more stroke like that. Let's see, might have done a little too much. But the good news is we can always go back. So there is still some in there. Um, so yeah, not a huge difference, but I think, um, so I've just kind of toned that down a little bit so it's not as substantial, but hit Y again and you can definitely see um, what we've done. Um, so this is the before here, um, and all the astrophotography shots usually come out this way, so definitely don't be disappointed if you get something and it's not quite what you wanted because this is what you can turn it into. So biggest things again, um, temperature adjustment, cooling everything down. Um, temperature adjustment, bringing that down and so you can get kind of get that blue sky. Um, don't worry too much about making it super bright or you know what a properly exposed photo would be. Um, just because it is a night photo, so there are going to be these inky black corners and stuff like that, and that's kind of what creates the mood. Um, and then the rest is pretty similar to usual. Um, the only one is bringing that highlights up because that'll make those stars glow a bit. So that one is um, yeah, definitely a, an important tip to remember. And then the rest is just kind of playing around with it like a usual photo. Um, I always end with um, a little bit of um, a vignette and then the sharpening is also quite important. So just spend some time getting sharpening right and noise reduction and trying to kind of get that perfect balance between uh, nice crisp stars and edges as well as um, cleaning out um, all that kind of garbage noise and the color um, color defects and that sort of thing with noise, noise reduction. 
Um, so that's it. That's episode nine of the fix. Um, first, first look at an astro shot. So hopefully there will be some more. And um, catch you in the next episode. Thanks.